Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Chino's Comics and More. Again, my name is Chino. This is Manny. What's up, YouTube? Guys, don't forget to West leave the subscribe button, hoax smash the like button, Superman punch the notification bell. And don't forget to share, guys. Bro, what are you doing? Checking in, we're live, man. We're not going live. Oh, we're not? Oh, okay. Let's go. All right, guys, so we're back. It's been a while since we've done this. It's been a long ass minute. Yeah, we had to actually had to come in here and wipe this table clean of a lot of dust. Try to fix a crooked uh, a back wall, man, but we just we didn't have time for it. It's been a while, man. So what are we doing today, Chino? What are we doing here today? Uh, we, we are coming out with our top 20 list for, no, that's not this video. No, 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 that's not it. Okay, no, no, let's see, giving you guys spoilers. No, we're actually doing a, a top list, and Manny, tell them what it is. It's a top, it's a top comic books pick up for 2020. Now, I know a lot of people are throwing out their own personal list, and this is something that we feel, you know, we want to contribute to also. And not only that, guys, we want to kind of show you guys some books that we just feel are safe bets, that probably have, like, long legs, and maybe even books that probably are, like, long-term investments. Long legs, you see that? Hey, man, who doesn't like Throwing long legs? already. Yeah, so aside from that, guys, let's go, man. All right, guys, so we have eight books that we want to talk about. Now, they're not in any kind of order. We just want to show off some, some books and some characters that we think have, like we said, you know, kind of like, you know, safe bets. Um, so this, this first character we're going to show off, you guys know who it is. It's Harley Quinn. So the book that you want to look for is Batman Adventures number 12, Harley Quinn's first appearance. Now, why did we show this character or this book? Well, I think she's a very, very good character right now in the DC universe. She's actually one of the few things that is actually going for, for them in the movie, in the movie world. Yeah. Uh, she's iconic. My wife loves her. So if, if your wife loves Harley Quinn... Uh, obviously, you know that other people are gonna try to join in and and, and and get with the program. Yeah, and the cool thing is that this character actually debuted debuted in the in the animation first. So again, guys, it's a book that honestly is always hot. It's always been hot. If you can find this book for a good price, pick it up because it's a book that's always going up and it always kind of maintains its value. So the next character we want to talk about is kind of similar, like Harley Quinn. You know, it's kind of a character that's out there. You can say. Yeah, and they both look good in tights. They both look good in tights. And the character we're talking about, guys, is, is Deadpool. You have to pick up New Mutants 98. So again, this is a book that it's always, it goes up and down, but it never hits the true bottom. It's always kind of just staying at a constant, decent price. But it's a book if you find raw, you're probably gonna pay me about two, two fifty, give or take. Yeah, right now that that you know the 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 movie hype is not up. Typically you start seeing these declines, man, and that's when you want to pick these books up. Obviously, you know that, that Ryan Reynolds has been posting a lot of stuff uh, here recently um, yeah. that that he's going to be in the in the Marvel Universe. So that is true. Know, once once that happens, I mean, good luck trying to buy this book, you know, it's going to explode. Um, yeah. So, again, it's a book that we've been talking about this book for years. Yeah. And we're not the only ones. A lot of people talk about it, but it's just kind of refreshing, you know, everybody's mind on, on books that we feel, you know, you should kind of look out for and probably pick up in 2020. Yeah. You, you don't have that, them? Yeah, pick them up. Uh, the next book I think is gonna probably be a little curveball. And I think it's a book that kind of people probably forgot about or fell asleep on, but this is gonna be the Marvel 1000 comic. But it's the variant, guys. It's gonna be the one, the D23 variant. It's gonna be the first appearance of Mickey Mouse in the Marvel Universe. Again, this is a book that at one point when it came out, it was probably like 200 bucks, give or take, and then it just dipped. It did nasty. Probably dipped to like maybe 100 bucks. Now, look at, look at this book. It goes for like 300 or more. Yeah, this is a book that we don't, for you guys who don't know and you're, you're kind of tuning in, we own a comic book shop. So, yeah. you know, we were fortunate that we got one at the store and I mean, we we just kept it. Yeah, the whole point was to send it off to get graded, but we got so busy that we never did. And it kind of paid off in a way because it's a book that again, it's, it's steadily climbing up. And I think it's a book that it's kind of more like a long-term investment. I wouldn't be surprised if this book in the future goes for, 500 or more now that's just me kind of speculating but this is what it really is guys you know when, when people when you're buying your books sometimes you are speculating if, if you're playing the, you know if you're playing with the market yeah and, so. and, and it's just like anything you know you want value to your to your stuff you know yeah. so when you're buying something you don't want to depreciate uh, if you're collecting something whatever you're collecting you're collecting for a reason you know the hobby is fun yeah whatever the case is but if you're investing money in books you don't want them to go under what you paid for. So obviously, when you're making those investments, you want them to go up. Just because you want to be in a position where you say, well, 
well, you know, I made it. You know, I, I made a good deal. I made a good investment. Yep. You know, I, uh, this book, you weren't going to find it any, any cheaper when, you, when it came out because at the time, I think our retail stores had it uh, pretty, pretty, pretty high up there. It was going for, for quite, a, quite a few dollars. So, so again, it's, a, it's an awesome book, beautiful cover. Um, the next book that we're going to show off, guys, and again, this is a book that we've been preaching for, for a very long time. And this is what we, what we call kind of the books that our kids are kind of looking into. The, the next character, really the next two characters are really, that's what it is. It's just, it's our, it's our kids, Spider-Man, and so on. And in reality, that's what it is. It's Miles Morales' first appearance. Ultimate Fallout number four. Again, this book, Polybag, it's probably going to spend about maybe 120 150 give or take. Now, you might end up getting it for even a, a better bargain, sometimes like $80, give or take. Um, but it's a book that honestly, you know, 10, 20 years from now, it's going to be worth money because... Miles Morales really is... It's a future. It's the, yeah, the next generation Spider-Man. Yeah, I don't see, you know, Spider-Man being, you know, the next Spider-Man for the next maybe 150 years or whatever. They're going to eventually weed those guys out. Yeah. Um, they'll still be around, but it's just, you know, the kids are growing up with these characters. So as, as they're growing up with those characters, the other ones are going to fade out. Uh, but obviously, they're always going to be part of the universe. I mean, it just makes yeah. sense. And, and, I mean, in my kids' situation, I mean... Uh, Spider Verse movies, their favorite uh, Marvel movie to this date. So you know, it kind of lets you know where that, where that stands. Uh, the next book, and this is a book that honestly we didn't have any copies for a very long time. I think now we're up to like maybe six copies, which I've been doing a lot of work to get this book. So without further ado, guys, the book I'm talking about is Edge of Spider Verse number two, and it's the first appearance of, of Spider Gwen. So this is again another character that you know when it first came out years ago, it was quite a while. Um, Man, I think it was going for like a hundred bucks at that time. And I remember me and him talked about it. We thought it was crazy. Yeah. Now you really don't find this book for any cheaper than $250. Um, 9.8, good luck. You're probably spending about 400 or more. Yeah, and again, this is another good character that's coming out. And just like anything, you know, right now it's it's woman empowerment. So uh you're starting to see this shift, and it's a good shift, you know, where yeah, awesome shift. where they're trying to get, you know, other people. Uh, even in the movie world, even in, in real life, you know, they're, they're trying to give women their dues and, and it's about time that they come out with a good character and, and obviously she was a hit in the movie too. And she, she, she's awesome. I mean, let's talk about all that. She's just awesome. So again, that's a highly recommended book to pick up. If you find it for, for, you this know, is, this is my copy actually. Yeah. If you find it for 150, pick it up as long as it's in good condition, of course, inspect your books. Um, the next book I'm going to show off guys, and it's, we know this character's coming out. Um, Venom 2 has been announced. So, you know, with Venom, you also have a villain that goes with him. And honestly, this villain just recently had a really good run um, in, the, in, in the current comic book run. Yeah. Uh, so, again, this is going to be Amazing Spider-Man 361. It's going to be the first appearance of Carnage. Uh, it's a book, honestly, that it's still underappreciated, guys. It goes for probably 80 bucks raw, give or take. You know, in really good condition. You're probably going to spend about 100 120 but for a first appearance for an incredible character, that's a bargain, honestly. And same thing, man. You know, the movies are going to drive it up. We've talked about it. Um, you know, sometimes people want to buy these books when, when they start climbing up, man. There, there's no yeah. need for that. You know, if you know something's coming out, kind of prepare yourself to try to get it beforehand. Uh, make the investment or the purchase. It's, it's, it's a heck of a character, you know. Uh, yeah. I've always liked... The symbiotes. Carnage has always been one of my all-time favorite villains, simply because we used to play that video game on Super Nintendo, which was Maximum Carnage. Awesome, awesome damn game. So that's how I got introduced to the character way back then, you know, because I saw, I, I knew about him in the cartoon, but when I played the game, I just fell in love with that whole kind of like gameplay and, and everything that psychopath. happened. Psychopath. Yeah. So. So I mean, it, a lot of you guys remember that game. So yeah. I mean, <laughs> unless you're like, you know. 16 years old or something like that. I don't know. But aside from that, you know, don't wait till the trailer comes out. Don't wait for the movie to, to, to you know, to get buzz again. It's a book you can pick up now for a really good price. Oh. Now, sticking with that, with that theme of Carnage, can't have Carnage without Venom. So the next book, look, there's no high in it. This book, it's always high. It's probably one of the highest or one of the, the, the top sellers every year. Mm -hmm. But it's going to be ASM 300, guys. Again, iconic cover by Todd McFarlane. And this is a book that honestly, you're always gonna probably pay about two, three hundred bucks raw, um, unless it's like super beat up, then you can negotiate. But a, a book in 
this condition is in really nice condition, you're probably gonna draw about 300 to maybe 350, give or take. Um, and a prime example, I went to a comic book shop the other day and, and they had like an 8.0 for 350 bucks. So, you know, they kind of know that this book, they know. it's a seller. Yeah, and and, and Venom, uh, the movie was, was, it was good. The first movie was good, but now with the new trailer of Morbius, and you know that, that in that movie, it exists in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and they've pretty much confirmed that Venom exists in that universe. I mean, dude, you would be sleeping on this book once they start putting that world together. You're in a coma if you don't. If you don't own this book, which I'm sure some of you guys do, this is the kind of book that if I find it for a good price, I try to hoard. Um, it's a book and, that's and we always have, gonna, we have a few. Yeah, it's gonna give me a good return. Aside from that, I just feel I just love the damn character to begin with, so even better. Now the last book we say is probably you could probably say the best for last, um, and it's probably gonna be the priciest book. But you know when you're when you're looking for books that are safe bets or even books that you know are gonna probably increase uh, dramatically in the future, can't go any you can't go too far with this one. Um, and not just that, this is this is a good key book. And it, honestly, it's a lot cheaper than the official number one. It's the second best thing to it, but it's not really like a like a silver medal. It's really a gold medal, honestly. And it's gonna be giant size X-Men number one. And it's gonna be the first appearance of multiple characters. This book, entry level, the way it is right now in this market, you're probably gonna pay about 500 bucks, maybe, maybe a little bit more. Uh, and this is like totally beat up. But this book at one point, you know, even like a like a 2.0 is going for like $800. So this is a book that honestly, guys, if you see it and you can afford it, I would I would say pick it up. Um, this book has a lot a lot of room to grow. It hasn't it hasn't reached a scene yet. And this is a book that actually uh, we've been very fortunate that that when we started collecting uh, very early on, we couldn't get the you know X Men one and all that. The no. book that we we're picking up uh, constantly, so we do have a few copies, and I can tell you that that when I what I paid for this book and what it's worth now at this rate, I mean I've it's, done tripled my money. Yeah, it's doubled <laughs> if not tripled. Um, and, and 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 you know, given the given the the, the time, you know, at any given moment, it, it could go up even four times the amount. Yeah, it can just explode, man, like like Hiroshima, man, just the atomic bomb. Yeah, blow it, up. This book is hot as hell, dude. Um, honestly, again. This is our number one book to keep your eye out. If you can find it, pick it up. And this is just our list of, of the 2020 uh, comic books you should try to cop for, for, for this year. Yeah, it's just books. Like I said, some of them are, are pretty affordable. Uh, the last one, not so much. But at the end of the day, uh, that's kind of how we collect. You know, we're trying to give you guys the information based on, on, on just what we see, some of the trends, uh, uh, how we invested prior to this, and what we see going you know, further in the future. Yeah, because so, before you know it, we're in 2021, and not all these books are going to probably, they're going to be a little more expensive. So with that, guys, I think that wraps it up, man. What do you think? That's it, man. Uh, keep tuned. Uh, we have more videos coming out. I think, um, you know, we're going to dust off the wall here, man, and, and kind of just uh, start shooting a little bit more of these videos, man. And I was going to do this. We're out.